Fiddler will kick off. Three debutants tonight. Two players, one referee. Paul Simkin. Right, stay on side. Right to go. Fiddler kicks off. The decider is on the way. Price. That's one. Hit Three by up. the New South Back. Wales defence. Inside his own 20 metre line. Webke. Fitzgibbon out of the line. Went up Ooh, looking up. for him. Found oh. him. Oh. Heinmarsh assisted. Now, Carlo. Dean. Yeah. Dane yeah. has gone back to lock forward. Sivan Asiva with the ball. Into the run on side. Oh, Made Timmons up. miss badly. Back. Heinmarsh made the tackle. Queensland's lock yet. Kicks off the left foot right on the 40 metre line. The bouncing Anthony Minicello. He brings it back. One, Hit and put down side. by the Queenslanders. Carlor, Sivanus, Eva and Price. Now Lewis. One of the two, two. young Let Penrith Panthers yeah, on Lewis. the flanks tonight. 30 metre line left behind them as Badiris and Fiddler combine with Fitzgibbon. Three. To the Make 40 metre line tackle three hold, call. Hold. Paul Simpkins, 197 NRL games. A couple of test matches. Ryan, hit, pummel, Barrett away for O'Mealy. To the halfway line, they make it. Michael Crocker in 11, Brent Tate, right side defence in three. Barrett keeps it low. He's played in five origin matches. Two wins, two losses, one draw. Here is Wesser, back inside the 20 metre line. First tackle, second set for the Maroons. Oh, Billy the King! Picked up and put down. Trouble. Yeah, he's still on the deck. It's a very tough and hard tackle. He did get picked up. It didn't go past the horizontal, according to the referee. It's Fitzgibbon and Hindmarsh, the back rowers, got hammered and lost it. That got very close to being a dangerous tackle here. In you go. Now Lockyer complaining yeah. about that. The Blues win the scrum. Minicello then. What? I'd yeah. like to know the interpretation of horizontal in the mind of the referee. O'Mealy flicking it out the back. The Deerus senses a chance. Good hands, Fiddler. It's gone wide. The Blues two are two off. metres from the line. Hands off. Pulled down out there was Gaznia. Fiddler, short ball away to Fitzgibbon. Fitzgibbon is put three. down by One three ball. of the Queenslanders, nine metres out from the line. Webke and Sivan Receiver, two of them. Then Barrett. Now Timmons. Dragon to Dragon. Lewis! Oh, he was going to he step and score. And the ball has been deflected. Good Queensland defence. Good sliding defence there. They held off and held off until the right time. Forced Timmons to pass. And this, oh, it was Matt Cooper out there, oh, very nearly got through. This is a great tackle by Brent ball Tate, one-on-one. On one. Out. Rones now. One, stand Four up. metres out from their Back own hold, line. Hold, hold. Go. Played by Willie Tonga. Now with Webke. Met by That's Jason two. Riles on Wait. the one hand, and Fittler's doing a lot of defence. Maybe they're aiming it at Fittler to drain him as much as they Three. can. Short time. 30 metres out from their own line. The Queenslanders now. This would be their third set. Sivan Asiva tackled just inside his own 40 metre line. Smith, the Melbourneian, kicking. Bouncing inside 20. Oh! Slater came quickly. Lewis beat him to the punch. Lewis sidesteps. Lewis gets it 40 out. Lovely exchange of rugby league. Gaznia playing right side. Badiris now on the halfway line. Barrett away from Riles. And that's a good and run by three. Riles. Something like 13 or 14 metres for the Dragon front row forward. From Badiris again. It's gone to Fiddler. He turns it back onto the centre of the ground for Barrett. Oh, Barrett is put away. 28 metres out from the line. Again, Webke blocking down the centre. Carlor in there as well. Fiddler goes second man. Minicello gives it on to Cooper. Cooper! 
Pulled down 11 metres out from the line, eastern side of the ground. Dummy half over there, Minicello. Back it comes for Fitler. His kick is not good, it's gone backwards. The jump is on, the bat down is there. It is with the Blues. He's got his hand in the air. This is the last tackle. It hasn't been resumed. High Marsh, he gets the ball away. Not tackled over the head of Madeiras. Five metres into Queensland territory. It's gone to Minicello. He puts the ball back on the inside. Rooney was there. Now it's gone to Madeiras. They got 15 to go. Now, can they unload? Yes, they can, but it's a turnover. Referee calls a turnover. Well, I don't think I've, I've seen that at Origin before. The ball going everywhere. A stony-faced Bill Gould not happy with that last play option. In the end, a penalty rightly given for throwing the ball off the ground as Queensland bring it back through Matt Singh. Singh, dominated by the defence of Fitzgibbon and Hindmarsh. Two. Wesser tried to steal a march from dummy half. Hindmarsh again to the four in defence. Here's Price. Three, stand up. Eight metres on his own side of halfway. Whipke now to the halfway and Barrett leaves the ground to make the tackle. Three dragons Ooh, in there. Gaznia, Riles and Barrett. Now it's away for Price again. Stephen is hit by Heimark. Back home. Okay. And another second rower is working overtime. Now he goes for a charge down on a towering kick from Lockyer. It's very high. It bounces. Minicello gets a hand on it. Six more tackles. The Maroons have got the ball. They're 25 out. Seven receiver. One. 15 out from the line now. Smith getting it away. The Prince fires it out to Wesser. Wesser pulled down. Penalty. Yeah. Offside inside the 10. Matt Cooper ruled offside there. Consecutive sets. Making Queensland very dangerous here. Wesser was... He was shaken up in that tackle. Cooper made an early decision. Too early for the referee's liking. They're not going to take the, the shot at, at points, are they? I think they might have reconsidered. They will have a shot for goal now. Yes, Darren Lockyer came in. Cameron Smith about to take a quick tap. But uh, Darren Lockyer has said to Cameron, who is the goal kicker, what about a shot? Well, it was a huge kick from Darren Lockyer. Spiral kick. So difficult to take. Andy Minicello contesting the football. Contesting the football. Got a touch to it. It was six again. And on the far side, in defence for New South Wales, Matt Cooper never back behind the referee. Queensland so far in this game been quite happy in the forward just to take the ball forward. They haven't thrown a pass. Riles and O'Mealy, a couple of offloads. And there's the assignment confronting Cameron Smith. Smith, one of the two Melbourne Storm players in the origin side. 10 in, 21 out from the eastern side. For first points in the decider. Hits it. Online so far. Flags are up. Queensland lead 2 0. back 2-0 in favor of Queensland penalty goal kicked by Cameron Smith here's Webke taken down by Mark O'Mealy and Danny Badiris now for Dane Carlaw just losing his footing as he tried to step off that right foot Smith seven receiver and that's been a great decision to start with Petro Sivanasiva. That's his fourth hit up and he's made 10, 12 metres every time he's hit the footballer. Lockiest kick. Driven down into the corner. Northwestern corner of the ground. Minicello's going nowhere. Back on his own 10 metre line. 
Lewis now. And again, the ring of defense around him. Tonight, you've got the chance to win $5,000 in the VB Man of the Match competition. Correctly pick who you think the Australian hey, Test selectors clear. will vote for as the VB Man of the Match. And the SMS number 1889926. Lines oh, close hey. 9.45 tonight. Winner announced tomorrow night on the footy show. Oh, yes. Last tackle. Take it back. Blues almost oh, to the 40 go. meter line now with Fitzgibbon. Barrett driving it low down towards Slater. Slater losing the ball. Was it a double knock on? Yes, it was. Hindmarsh had a shot at it. Double knock on. Double knock on. Well, New South Wales disappointed that Nathan Hindmarsh wasn't ruled to have knocked the ball back. Just a, a poor ball carry there from Billy Slater. He can't get away with it at this level. Come together. Ball in. Out. Blues winning the scrum. One, Steve. Fittler put down on the Five. first. Cameron. 17 metres out from the line. 2 0 in favour of Queensland. Riles. Riles got the ball back for Badiris. It missed him. It went to Fiddler. Fiddler away to Gaznia. Gaznia tries to stand them up. He's put Two, away. Five, Three metres out from the line. Now Lewis. Now Barrett. Barrett drifting across. Picking up Timmons. Timmons. Three, Three metres from the middle. line. Desperate Out tackle by Crocker. Now a dummy to O'Mealy. Now to Fiddler. Cuts out Hindmarsh. Gaznia. Gaznia will score. And they Famous of them all, Mark Gaznia scores on Origin debut. And very well constructed by New South Wales. A cut out pass there from Fittler, taken by Gaznia. Now he steps back inside, and you can see Luke Lewis on his right completely unmarked. A lot of pressure on Gaznia to score there because he bombed it if he hadn't have got the football over the line. Yeah, unmarked man outside of him. 12 minutes gone, 4-2, the Blues in front. So to our overseas networks taking the telecast, we, we welcome you. The Blues to attempt conversion. What a moment for Mark Gaznia. Talking there with the, the New South Wales trainer, or one of them, John Cartwright, who also played at origin level. Yeah, the Queensland side just gave them too much room to move out here. The defence was awful. They all shuffled in. They didn't uh, spread the, the defence at all. Just gave Mark... He doesn't need much room, does he? He's got a great right foot step. He used it then and uh, got the try. Gus, a little fist pump. A little clap. Fitzgibbon. 10 in from touch and 20 out. Hits it. Oh, it's beautiful. Straight over the black dot. Six points to two. Gazny up. Applauding the kick of Fitzgibbon. Andrew Voss sideline. Oh, Ray, there's no doubt about it. This has been quite a spectacular start to the match. Also from the Blues, this crowd is so far into the game. They've been accused before the match of not being as passionate as the Queenslanders. They're sending out a message very early in this game, the Blues supporters. Cameron Smith restarting. Riles comes into the origin. That's one, back and square. Belatedly. Probably on a very slender preparation. O'Mealy. It'll be interesting, interesting to see at the back end of the game how Riles and Barrett and those players on that light preparation are able to stand up to it. Strong defence here from Queensland. The good thing for New South Wales is that they have three back rowers who can go the full 80 minutes. Short ball there to Mark O'Mealy. Again, the New South Wales forwards prepared to play some second phase. Kick coming shortly. Fitler. 
Across for Timmins. They've got numbers on the right. They created an overlap. Unable to use it. Tonga made the tackle. Now Barrett, inside the 40 metre line, puts the kick in. A running Billy Slater. That means danger. Loses the ball again. Wesser is with it. Now Wesser can be just as dangerous. And again, he can't get traction. O'Neill has been penalised for a flop here and the fists are flying. O'Neill and Crocker throwing punches left and right. Brent Tate's got involved as well. Walk away. Give it away. Control there. Test for the Logo. referee on debut. Mark. Yeah, this will go against New South Wales. Okay. All right. Okay, what do you got, mate? Right. No flop on the, on the play of the ball. He, he um, reacted to that. And just very simple punching. Yeah, okay, the same thing. The, the reaction was a push. The first punch was thrown by Marco Miller. Okay. You had the penalty. You've only got something to lose from that point on, okay? Keep him out of it, right? We'll control that. Off you go. But they had the late flop in there. That's what the penalty's for. Going on with the fighting, you can only end up in one place, okay? Keep it out of the game. No more of it. That's well handled there by referee Simpkins. First state of origin. An early blue. Yeah, more mistakes by the Queenslanders. And O'Mealy, you can see Mick Crocker reacted to the... You did right too, Mick. Landed the couple. Well, that was Sky Cam. And the view they were getting of it. Red Reagan would have liked it. 40 metre line for Queensland now. Smith, Webke, beating Riles. A spectacular tackle from Badiris. Now it's Smith working on the short side. Tries to straighten up, he reaches the 20 metre line. Playing the ball back for Crocker again. Crocker dummies to Wesser before taking them on. 10 metres out from the line, now 15. Back to the 10, goes seven to Siva. Last tackle, draw line. Last tackle for the Maroons. Five away from the line now. As Smith puts in a kick, he might win the race. No. The ball wins the race. And they go back to the 20 metre line. And Cameron Smith was claiming that it touched the New South Wales player. The referee, by the rule that he didn't play at it, well, it missed him completely as Rooney picks up a good 10 metres from the restart. Timmons now. The hero of game one. Hold, hold, short side. On the 40 metre line, his own end of the park. Fittler. Game 31 tonight and making a half break. Right. Halfway line for Badiris to give it away for Barrett to go back to Fittler and Fittler to go across to Fitzgibbon. Fitzgibbon tries to beat Lockyer. He beats him and he beats Sivan Four, stand up. 35 metres out from the line. Right. Now, Barrett again. Here is Gaznia who scored the try for the Blues. For them to lead, 6 2. Forward, and the ball has travelled forward. A strong defence here, Mark Gaznia. Dane Carlaw getting the pats on the head from teammates. There he is coming across, driving in. Over the ball. And a change very shortly where you'd imagine in, inner change would be on the minds of, of both coaches. Out. Queensland then. Coming away with Stand. this use of the football. Hold, hold. 30 Go. metres out from their line, played by Tonga, tackled by Fitzgibbon. Now Webke. And they try and pick up the big drop forward and put him down. Oh. Willie Mason about to come into the game. Michael Crocker. Three. Stand up. Smith to the open side for Price. Halfway line and Hindmarsh and O'Mealy nice are there to meet him. Now to Prince. This is Lockyer. Inside run for Carlo. Taken down up. by Badiris and by Jason Riles. Then for Prince. Has plenty of time, puts it high. Down at Rooney's corner. Rooney's got the ball. It came off Minicello. 
Now Rooney tries to turn them around. Good retaliation by the Penrith winger. Minicello. One. Hands off. The blue side of halfway. Ryle straight ahead. Flicking it, hoping for the best. Padiris away from Webke. Amelia is off. Mason goes on. Barrett. Barrett. Scheming. Fidler. It's given. Quick hands for Cooper. Cooper got the ball away to Rooney. And Rooney's in the field of play. Incredibly. Now it's Barrett. Fidler crosses the 20. Let's a runner go. Timmons picks up Minicello. Now it's Gaznia, and Prince oh, is able to make the tackle. He might have got the football. So close to a one-on-one -on -one script. The blue strip, the Blues keep it. Mason's first touch. Mason to the 10-metre line. Right in front of the uprights. Southern end of the ground. Timmons again. Timmons runs into a traffic jam. Puts in a kick. Carlor has picked up and put away. Madeiras again the tackler. Yeah, the Queensland side under siege at the moment. New South Wales Dude. throwing everything at them. I'll tell you one player's had a great series yeah. is uh, Luke Rooney. How he stayed in touch there was amazing, but he's made so many good, long, Three. searching runs. He's you been very, play? very strong. Yeah. Carlaw there. Cameron Smith. Just outside the 20-metre line. The oh, Held there by Hindmarsh. Simmons and... Just looking at Heinmarsh's tackle count at the moment, it's up to 17. And Flannery and Ross on for the Queensland side now. Webke and Sivanasiva given a rest as Minicello takes the ball 20 out from his own line. The kick return from New South Wales has been very good. Mistake free, up to date. Minicello able to avoid or evade a couple of would-be tackles. 30 metres out from his own line. Gaznia comes to the number seven for Queensland and Prince again is equal to the task Barrett for Riles Riles to the 40 metre line a short ball to Fittler Fittler to Hindmarsh ball goes backwards taken by Fittler now to wait to Cooper Cooper tries to go through the ruck Cooper put down on the third tackle five metres from halfway here's Barrett again makes a run tries to offload Mason couldn't take it comes back with Steve Price. Now Queensland. They turn it into attack. Flannery. Tonga. Tonga to the 20 metre line. Do short side. Wait, wait. Flannery now. Prince. Now it's with Lockyer. up. And they go for a second man play. Wesser and Tate. They combine. The kick ahead for Matt Singh. Oh, has he held? Absolutely. Referee held back. He's saying he's held back, but what about a, the Queenslanders have to ask the question? What about a penalty try? We have gone over the dead ball line, right? What was happening down there? We're going with the penalty. There's a change of possession, Benny. That's the rule. We're not going to debate it. That's it. Nothing. We've got, they've got to get off the ground quickly. Okay, we get dominant runs. Okay, as you say, off you go. Danny Badiris is claiming that when Willie Mason went through in support of Trent Barrett, that Scott Prince interfered with him and dragged him back. Now, in the next set of six, Matt Singh was definitely stopped from scoring. I don't know about a penalty try, but very close. Ross. One, him up, hell. Hold. Ross, five metres out from the line. Prince, Lockyer, back to Prince on the runaround. Oh, Wesser. Lovely hands by Reese Wesser. 20 metres out from the line. Flannery. Now it's with Lockyer. Across to Willie Tonga. Here's a try for Slater. Two kids out on the wing, the 20-year-old Tonga, the 21-year-old Slater. This, this was the incident earlier. Lead-up play where Anthony Minicello grabs Matt Singh. Now, Anthony Minicello should be in the sin bin for that. That is a professional foul. And Luke Lewis, we pointed out Billy Slater doing the same in game ones. We freeze it there. Luke Lewis has come a long way in. This Queensland player should be that defender's there as play continues. Lewis has got to start sliding. He doesn't. He comes in and then he goes for the intercept. We'll go to a break. Be back for the kick in just a moment. Six all. Jack 
Tommy Fano's work, buddy. Back at the Origin Decider from the Telstra Stadium. It's Cameron Smith from the sideline to put Queensland back in front. 25 out. From the sideline, he hit it beautifully. It's a great kick from Smith. Queensland leading by two. Andrew Voss, sideline. Yeah, well, what about Slater? We know we are a long way from his hometown of Innisfail, where we had the street parade after game two. But after his two drop balls early in this match tonight, he must have felt like he was a million kilometres away from his hometown. He was a very lonely figure. He was nursing a problem with his left knee. He bounces back with a try. Champion play, Billy Slater. And the kick from his Melbourne teammate, Cameron Smith, outstanding. Fiddler. Trice, back to the 20 metre line. Now Ross with fresh legs. One of the two Panthers in the Queensland side, his Carlaw. And again, Hindmarsh in the tackle with Riles. Cameron Smith from dummy half, linking up with Michael Crocker. Crocker's hurt. Crocker's damaged. Lockyer kicking. Minicello from the corner. Lewis with him. Well, it's not a problem with the ankle that he rolled at training yesterday. It's up around the shoulder area. Michael Crocker. As Luke Lewis takes it outside the 10. I have to say I'm amazed that Anthony Minicello has not sinned in for what was a blatant professional foul. At the moment, the Blues should have 12 on the field. Carlaw making the tackle on Fitzgibbon. Now Barrett. Mason. Straight at Flannery and Prince. Four, clear. Back. Paderis now. Here is Timmons running a short side play. He's dropped it. Smith and Prince forcing the error. Scrum will go down just on the blue side of halfway. Well, let's just have a look at this. It was a lovely kick from Brent Tate. Matt Singh clearly gets to the lead here. And he's just grabbed a metre from the football by Anthony Minicello. And I did say, reckon Matt Singh could have dived on that football before it went over the dead ball to score a try. So you would have thought it would have gone to the video referee at least. What? Yep. He's Ponga now. Right on halfway. Tackled by Fittler. Ben Ross. Big body collision with Fitzgibbon. 42 metres out from the line. The Queenslanders leading by two. It is 8 6. Work back, Sean. Price pulled down. Riles, the chief tackler. Now Lockyer. Ball goes astray. Lockyer cleans up his own mistake. Stand up. Flannery for Wesson now. Running into High Marsh. Willie Mason. Smith. For Lockyer, kicking on the Blues 40 metre line. Rooney came across in spectacular fashion to take it. One. Paul Borton wrapped Luke Rooney earlier. That was a superb take. He had to cover a lot of metres to get there on the full. If it had bounced, it could have gone anywhere. He knew how desperate the situation was. Cooper now. Fitlup running at Prince and Prince again. He's able to make a big enough dent for Price to come over the top and complete. Gaznia with yards out of dummy half. Pulled down by Slater on the right touchline. Fiddler to the halfway line. Barrett back inside for Minicello. Back it goes for Barrett. Barrett taken down by Carlo. 45 metres gained on those five tackles. Fittler puts in a big kick, straight to Wessup. He wobbles around after taking it. One. Pulled down by Fitzgibbon yeah, and Minicello. Play inside the Queensland 20-metre line. Now 
They're 25 away with Singh. Ross running at Riles and Fitzgibbon. Put down on the 40 meter line as Kennedy gets ready to come into the game. Tate. Makes it to the halfway line, tackled by Badiris and Fitzgibbon that time. Now Crocker. 8-6 in favour of Queensland. Great wing. Told to get ready by Coach Gould. Locked out. Kicking positively down into that corner. Here's Rooney. So far into the game, he's been one of the stars of the... New oh. South Wales side, as Peter and Paul have pointed out. Mason now, Two, 30 metres out from the line. Gaznia, he's making yards from dummy half. Three. Almost to the halfway. The chant goes out for the Blues now. Barrett, Barrett, turns it back, finds Fiddler. They got Senior isolated. He's kicked now, down into the corner. The race is on. This still might be a try. The Blues. And Minicello, it, is it? It is. Minicello is claiming it. Fettler kicked the football through. They'll have to have a look if there was a knock on by any of the New South Wales chasers. But from the way they've reacted, they believe they've scored. Ball started by Trent Barrett running the football again, taking the line on. And then it was Fittler, the reverse angle there you can see. He knows that Matt Singh's got the outside blokes covered. So he puts in a little left foot kick and it's a race for the football. Singh, Wesser and Matt Cooper. And who gets there first? Is there a knock on? No, it's knocked down by Matt Singh. It's play on. Oh, now, Ben Kennedy has That's taken right. out Reese Wesser. Just keep an eye on that one though. I think Ben Kennedy takes out Reese Wesser here. He doesn't try and go for the football, Kennedy. And that prevented Wesser from getting a hand on the football. Apart from that, it'll be a try. Yeah, I don't know whether Kennedy had any... I think it's accidental. I don't think he's deliberately tried to take him out, and that is something that will have to be ascertained by the, the man up looking at it in the box. And he comes in. In fact, he doesn't look at the football. That can be the only thing that goes against the try. It's definitely touched by Matt Singh. There's no knock on there. Minicello's grounding of the football is good. Does Kennedy interfere illegally with Rhys Wesser? It's a big negative. I say he does. It'll be a penalty to Queensland. Video referee. It's Sean Hampstead. No try penalty. Gus Girl waving the head. The replay suggests that it is a fair penalty. And if you have a look at Ben Kennedy from that last angle that we saw, he really doesn't look at the football. He's always looking at Wesser. So it's hard to say that it was accidental. Meters again made. This time by Ross. Four penalties in the game. They've all gone with Queensland. Seven a Seaver now. To the 40 metre line, his own end of the ground. Smith, away for Webke. Beating the tackle of Mason. It was just a clutch. More than a tackle. Halfway line for Webke. Now for Lockyer. Down it goes again into this familiar corner. Minicello, who's really had a busy night. Quick play, the ball might help. Lewis, Lewis, almost away. Cameron Smith uh, with a diving tackle, but they're beyond the 30 metre line now with Kennedy. Tackled by Cowell and Lockyer towards the left side of the ground. Riles again, right on the 40 metre line. Craig Wing is about to come into the game. Barrett again. Timmons running flat to the halfway line. Barrett is always a problem particularly when he runs. There's the kick from Barrett now. Slater couldn't get a hand on it. Smith has got the ball. Gaznia makes the tackle. Ten minutes of the game in the first half remaining. Wes up. And the New South Wales skipper has gone to the bench along with Jason Riles. Craig Wing comes in as Reese Wesser gets a penalty. Brad Fittler will have interfered in the play of the ball.
And you would assume that Brad Fittler would take over the captaincy role with Daniel Badiris going to the bench. 8-6 in favour of Queensland. Penalties 5-0 now in favour of the visitors. Oh, it's a great kick from Darren Lockyer. And hold. Up every hold. metre he could oh. out of that one. So we come inside the final 10. Ross. Taken what? by three of the Blues. Wait. Incredible amount of tackles by Freddie Fittler. Seven to Seaver. Two. Stand. Hold. Craig Wing making that tackle. Now they leave Webke to run a decoy. Prince goes over to Lockyer. Lockyer goes second man to Tonga. Tonga's car pass goes astray. Still on the ground. Still alive for the Blues. Lewis is with it. Lewis told to play on. 10 from the halfway. Gasnia now has a short side play penalty. Yeah, First West... of the game to New South Wales. Lewis are offside. Good play the ball. Lewis again. Taking play. Centre of the ground. 30 metres out. Craig Wing. Fittler's got Kennedy coming up. He's got Timmons coming up. Two. Timmons is with the ball. Billy Slater has gone to fullback. Reese Wesser onto the left wing for Queensland. Wing, now for Barrett, Barrett again runs, Barrett will run through, he puts it over the line, Barrett at his most dangerous, when he runs, Queensland are in trouble. Well, Phil Gould has always said that he is a better hole runner than he is a ball player, which is quite a statement, but he's been threatening to do this all night, on a couple of occasions he has gone through, slipped an important pass, on this occasion, he just throws the little dummy on the, the outside, a touch of a fend on the shoulder of Chris Flannery, and then he's able to goose step his way through Billy Slater. Great work from Trent Barrett, taking the line on, putting the defence in two minds. Well, they showed him the hole between Webke and Flannery. They showed him the hole, and he took it. Lovely fend. He's taken the line on three times tonight and made three breaks. Andrew Voss, sideline. Well, I can tell you too, Phil Gould, when this try was scored up on his feet, it's on the back of our first penalty, he was saying. New South Wales wait almost 35 minutes to get their first penalty, get field position, come up with a try. Bad sign for Queensland. What about the emotion of Gus? There, Chris Flannery there, he was only concerned with Ben Kennedy. Rushed up looking at his defender, didn't look at Barrett. Fitzgibbon kicked one from about the same spot earlier. And there he is on line again. He's got it, radar controlled, Brett Lee loves it. It is 12-8, the Blues over the Maroons. There's the hero so far, Trent Barrett from the Dragons. Look at him go. Sliding through there. They had one representative, the Dragons, in game one, six tonight. And they're all doing their part. Trent Barrett, he's having an outstanding first half. Queensland restarting down by four. They led 2-0, they trailed 6-2, they led 8-6, they trail 12-8. Penalty goes again to the Blues, back inside their own 20-metre line. Yeah, Shane Webke penalised there, again coming in late once the tackle had been completed. Craig Wing will find touch short of halfway. Craig Wing. Offload for O'Mealy. And Lockyer and Tate. Tate defending that right side. Where Bowman was so important in game number two. Two! Now Kennedy. Yeah. Not to be forgotten oh, the fact no. that Bowman and Carroll, two of their big defensemen, not in this team. Here is Fitzgibbon! Tackled 31 metres away from the line by Lockyer. Craig Wing. Running from dummy half, oh, taking it inside the 20. Play back to Kennedy. Kennedy away to Barrett. Barrett away to Mason. Mason! Can he unload? Lewis! Lewis! Running an arc. He's tackled. Two away from the line on five. Wing again. Fittler calls it blindside. It goes to Gaznia. Gaznia! He's in again! Gaznia gets his second. Great decision there, and the Bundy Rump Telestrator will show that New South Wales had everybody to the left, but they had a number on the right-hand side, the short side. Three against two, despondency in the Queensland 
support. A couple of late tries in this first half has really opened the game. Play the ball as we freeze it there. You can see Queensland, two defenders, New South Wales, three attacking players. The play continues. They come to the short side. Fittler attracts one. And then it's just body strength that gets Gasnia through Wesser, who we pointed out is playing on the wing. That whole set of six was, six was very poor defensively for Queensland. Not once did they move up off their line. They stood on their line for the whole six tackles and let New South Wales run at them. In the end, they paid the penalty. Didn't number up. Just not there in defence at all. All of their tries coming down that right side. Left side, Queensland defence. Three tries have gone in there. Fitzgibbon from the sideline. Fitzgibbon from the sideline. Hits the crossbar. Bounces over. Another two points. 18 to 8. 38 minutes gone. Try score up. Second tonight on debut. Mark Gasnia. Sky Cam. Captured it this way. It was Fiddler's call. Gesnia finished it off. Queensland restarting. O'Mealy tackled on the 20 metre line by Tate. Now Fiddler. Just inside the 30 metre line. Craig Wing. Craig Wing. Great run from Dummy Half. Badiris was tremendous in defence. Wing has put that injection of attack into the game at the back half of the first half. Mason, Wing again. Now it's away to Barrett. Barrett away to Timmons. Timmons is held. Flannery is there. Prince is there. Sivanasiva as well. Then Wing. Now Barrett. They go to the air. The ball goes across the park. Bounces freely. It is with uh, Singh on the far side. Now Tate. Caught by Cooper. It's given involved. I thought Rooney might have been a flop. Now Singh. Out to the 30 metre line. Smith behind Ross to Prince. Prince to Lockyer. Lockyer to Tonga. Queensland. Brewing up down the left side. Wesser is tackled. Oh, Just over a minute of the first half remaining. Lock up. And oh, Kennedy. He made a play at the ball. Six more tackles. Queensland. Flannery to play it. Smith. Webke. Kennedy takes him. Timmons coming in over the top. Cameron Smith. Now to lock you. They're 10 metres. They're 15 metres into Good. Blues territory. Prince is with the ball. Close to half time. 30 metre line for Ben Ross. Almost making it to the 20 metre line. Tackled by Craig Wing. Smith away for Prince. Puts the kick in. Is there anybody home? Yes, Rooney is there. Rooney cleans up. 18 to 8. That will probably take us to half time. Lovely kick by Prince. Rooney knew the urgency button had to be pressed. And he capped a magnificent first the half. A, the Penrith off. wing up. Stupid. So 18 to 8. Three tries to one. Stay on. And the Paul Simpkins wants the line drop out. Barrett hasn't got a lot of volume about it. Lockyer comes back with a kick. Lewis goes up magnificently. That's the end of the first half. It was a great first half from both sides. But the difference was barren. Every time he put his frame on the line, he made an indentation. Andrew Voss with the Blues coach. Phil, besides the scoreline, what pleased you most in that first 40? Just the, the perseverance, mate. Yeah, we had a big penalty count going against us. We had a lot of unlucky bounces. And they got a little bit of luck early in the game, too. And, you know, we've just stuck to it, stuck to it. We've got to roll on. 
got them a little bit tired, but half time's coming a bad time for us. We've got to make sure we come out after half time. That's their best period of the game. That's the key instruction. You'll be addressing the players in just a matter of 60 seconds. Mate, we're 40 minutes away. You, know, you just can't rest in this game. The first 20 minutes after half time will be Queensland's best. Thanks your time, Phil. Yeah, the New South Wales coach making his exit tonight as we walk to the sheds behind Trent Barrett and Matt Singh. And welcome back, everybody. Second half of the decider, not far away. The Blues by 10 at the break. Three tries, all down the right side. Two of them by Gaznia. Scenes from the New South Wales sheds. As you can see, a lot of animation there. Back slapping and talking, particularly from blokes like Willie Mason. As the Maroons now prepare to leave their camp. Are they going to pull off another incredible finish? to State of Origin. They've done it so many times. Some of the magic moments have been Queensland fight backs to win. Michael Hagen has given us some time. He's with Andrew. Yeah, very generous with his time. Michael, the mood in the room, 10 points down. Yeah, I guess, um, you know, just a bit disappointed given that we um, were in good position with about eight minutes to go and, and just dropped off a little bit last five, six minutes and, and they put a couple on us. What's the key instruction for the second half? Oh, we just got to hang in there with them, I think, and I think, um, you know, things can turn around for us if we get a bit of possession and we've got plenty of good players who can score points. All the best. Thanks for your time, Thank you. Both coaches willing to give their time. Michael Hagen, we thank. As the Blues leave the sheds, Gasnia scored at the 12th minute, Slater at the 22nd, Barrett at the 33rd, Gasnia again at the 36th. That was the chronological order of tries as they were put on the board, 3-1 by the Blues. And here they are going back on to Telstra Stadium for the second half. 40 minutes away from leading the series. 11-10. Slater, he had a dusty start. It had its highs and its lows for Billy the Kid. He really took a hit there. He lost it there, lost his footing there, lost the ball, and then combined with Tonga for a lovely try down the left. He is back, Queensland the back. Fittler's had a splendid game. Gazzy a second try. You can put that down to Fittler. Wing didn't know which way to go. He heard the call of the Roosters captain. And it was Fittler saying, right side, I want it. There's the start of the second half. The decider, 40 minutes to go. And O'Mealy goes straight through. Seven a receiver eventually. <laughs> Pulling him down. A Dude. runaway Shrek in Mark O'Mealy. Now Fittler a dummy half and Mason striding out with those big legs. And they go in, three of them from Queensland, of course, including Webkeep. Now Fitzgibbon crossing the halfway. It's been a tremendous set. Four down. They've come 55. Kennedy. 30 oh, metre line, there it is, 63 metres on five tackles on their first set. Barrett kicking back and across towards Rooney. But Singh, on, has there been a safer winger in origin history than Matty Singh? West up. Two. Timmons oh, no. and Wing. And Kennedy making the tackle and Tate. Three. He tries to find a little tunnel. He can't find it because Big Ben Kennedy closed it down. Seven to Siva. They're good meters. 21 away from his own line. Smith and Singh, they combine. On five, they're 31 out. That shook him up. The Cowboys winger is not well. Matt Singh. Lock you up. Passes to Tate. Tate's got a ring around him. Ball to ground, Fitzgibbon, 
It's play on for the Blues. 20 metre line, singers off. Wing. Fiddler. O'Mealy. Two. Square marker. Four in the tackle. Price the main with Carlaw. Fiddler for Timmins. Timmins is 12 away. Tonga the tackler with Prince. Open side play. Barrett for Fiddler. Fiddler gives it down to Wing. Wing surging. Four, four. Ten metres short of the line. Price and Prince making the tackle. A dive by Fiddler. Fiddler's over the line. I fancy held up. Held up. Held, held up in goal. And we will come back to the 10 metre line. A couple still up there. Sleep New South Wales. Matt Singh was hit in a tackle earlier by Brad Fiddler. And Craig Wing, the play before Fittler was held up. Watch how close he goes to scoring here. Will he gets the football down. Willie Tonga denies, along with Scott Prince. Five tackles. So five tackles. This is the last. One shot. Minicello. It's going to coop up. Tate has got him. Carl or turnover. And Tate is hurt. Hold Willie back. Better defence there by Queensland. Yeah, Tate oh. still on the deck. Let's hope it's not a shoulder again. He's had major problems. Matty Singh already left the field. Well, Matt Singh copped a bad knock. He virtually walked himself off the field. A lot of concerns over him and also Brent Tate. Tate missed a lot of football last year. Hurt against the Warriors. Missed football again this year with shoulder problems. Andrew Voss, sideline. Yeah, well, the fear with Matt Singh is there could be some sort of facial fracture for Matt Singh. That sent Matt Bowen rushing on to the right wing for Queensland, and now troubles for Brent Tate. They've still got one fresh player on the bench. That is the forward from the Broncos, Corey Parker. Both sides with one on the bench, unused. Parker and Kite, Carlaw, determined run. Kennedy and Timmons making the tackle. Seven a sieve up. Crosses the 30-metre line. Up, back, short. Tackle by Cooper, Fittler and Wing. Now Flannery. Oh. And he's pulled down near the halfway on four. Quick play, the ball by Queensland. And a grubbing kick by Cameron Smith. Picked up on the 10-metre line by Minicello. Comes back and outside the 20-metre line. It's a good retaliation. Cooper now. He and Gaznia, they've piled up, up 24 Chris, tries Chris, hold, for the hold, Dragons. Gaznia's picked up a couple tonight. Three. Chris out, move it. Now Fiddler. Fitzgibbon. Four. To the halfway line. Tackled by Lockyap. His wing. Gets it away to Barrett. Five last, Barrett five. Is held about seven metres into Queensland's area. Wing puts a kick in. Down into the northeastern corner. It's doing everything right at the moment for him. But now it goes dead in goal. Right on. Cameron, you got one Providing pr plenty of thrust out of dummy half is Craig Wing. It will be interesting to see when Phil Gould decides to bring his captain back on. Danny Badiris will be slated keeping his cool here. Allowing the ball to go dead. Oh, one. Stand. 18 to 8 then. Half time score line. Still intact. Tong up. 35 out from the line. Stephen Price. Three, got away from three. Timmons, but he didn't get away from Kennedy and Barrett. Webkeep. Long ball. Dangerous. New South Wales might have the ball. They have. Cooper's got that football. And the referee has gone back to the Queensland 10 metres. O'Mealy, a drubbing run Back. over the top of Wessup. Wing, now Cooper. Cooper to the 20 metre line. Pressure again for the Maroons. Wing, Fiddler, stepping up his right foot inside ball. O'Mealy gets it away. Wing was there. And Wing Ooh. is taken down by oh, Smith. Fitzgibbon to the right. Fiddler on. Barrett in. Now Kennedy. Minicello. He puts it down. Wessup. 
takes the advantage for Queensland. Yeah, went for an inside ball there. Had three men on his outside against Queensland's two. That was probably the better option. Queensland doing it very tough at the moment. They need to control possession. So here they are. Two. Trying to relieve that pressure. Almost out of the 20-metre line. And Lockyer with a long ball. He's hit Bowen right on the chest with it. Three. Bowen taken down by a sliding Blues defence of Rooney and Cooper. Price. It's a real Ooh. contrasting wingers on this left side, isn't it? Matty Bowen up against Luke Rooney. Lockout, inside ball. Here's Pride Prince. Back it goes to Lockyer. Here come the Queenslanders. Long ball to Slater. Looking for number two. Kicks ahead. Back goes Minatello. Minatello. Will he get it back? Will he get it back? Yes, he does. Wonderful athleticism. Oh, that's a superhuman effort there. Great play from the Rhones. Better play. Inside Ooh. ball to Scott Prince. The defence keeps coming, though, doesn't it? Fitzgibbon. Three. Three. Scott Cam. Capturing that break. What I thought might have led to Slater's second try. Shut down by Minicello. And then a tremendous fight back by the Roosters' fullback. Heinmarsh about to come back into the game. He made 25 tackles in 29 minutes. Heinmarsh in the first half. Andrew Voss, sideline. Yeah, still waiting on an update on Matt Singh. The looks on the Queensland bench are not good on Matt Singh, so they could be down for 16 for the remainder of this match. Webke. Yeah, starting, starting to warm to their task. Sorry, Ray. That's just what you get from Queensland when they look down and out. All of a sudden, they bust you. Good take from Reese Wester on the kick. Now they're in good attacking position. Only the third tackle against them. Here's Tonga. Beating Gasly up. Beating Lewis. Beating Gasly second time five away from the line he's hurt gets the out this is course queensland is in wrestler has scored well they're going to check the corner post but reese wrestler appears to have scored mark gasnia was down out of the defensive line after making a try saving tackle on willie tonga let's have a look at the reverse angle here that'll give us the, the best shot what about the foot, the left foot? Does it touch the line? It touches the line. It is no try. Minicello has saved the game. Despairing tackle there by Minicello. Looks like it has saved a try. Proud Fittler rules. I think on this occasion, Minicello has ruled. Well, a couple of huge plays from Anthony Minicello in the last couple of minutes. Firstly, to get the ball back into play after the Queensland bust and kick. This will be no try. A scrum for New South Wales to feed. And Reese West has clever play to go down the short side. He knew they were a player short. And Minicello rose to the occasion. Great run by Willie Tonga. One of the few chances he's had tonight, but disposed of two players before Mark Gasnier came again. And he cops a knee or a boot. Stays down. And Reese West says, hey, there's no one there. I'll have a dash. And the effort by Minicello, sensational. 18 to 8 then remains the score. O'Mealy taking on Webkey and Sivanasiva. Ball goes back to Fiddler. Fiddler up the middle. It goes to ground. They got it back. Played out by Queensland. Six more. Clayton is on. Timmons is with the ball. 50 minutes of the game almost gone. Minicello. Looking for a gap. Six changes, the Blues. Same Queensland. Fitzgibbon. Here is Kite. The Dragons front row forward. 15 into Queensland territory. Greg Wing. Rooney's with him. Wing is so strong. We saw an exhibition of it earlier when he almost scored a try from dummy half. Now Fiddler, here is Mason, winding it up and running it at Tate, who he knows was injured earlier. Fifth tackle now against the Blues. 
Fiddler. Away it goes to Barrett. Barrett puts the kick over to the right side for Lewis. Up goes the, the Blues with the Maroons, and Wesser comes down with it. Wesser saving it over there. And... Uh, in fact, it looked like Gazia might have had a hand on it. And eventually, Wesser came up with the football. Sivan Siva. Price. Met by Kite. Three. Back at home. It's given. He's in just about every tackle. Webke, Lockyer. Cuts out Crocker. Long ball. Tate. Tate running into Cooper. That's the 30 metre line just in front of him. Crocker. He's given a wing. A joint tackle. 28 metres on five. It's Lockyer. Puts it onto the left foot from inside the 40. Minicello back paddles. Loses the ball. Comes off the 10 metre line. So the field position not as good for the Blues as it might have been. Back home. Caught it safely, lost his footing, all but knocked on. Rooney. Two. Make it back. Wait. Go. Lewis. Kite. Three. Play the ball. Making an impression. Bound for Manly next year. Fiddler for Heimarsh now. Running at Lockyer. Lockyer goes oh, low yeah. on the second occasion. Now Timmons. To the halfway. Realising he was close to the Western touch line. Happy to submit under tape. Fiddler. Kicking down to Wessup. Reese out to the 20. And now they surge in. Fiddler, Heimarsh and Fitzgibbon. Andrew Voss, sideline. Yeah, confirmation from the Queensland dressing room. The worst possible news. Matty Singh has a broken jaw, so Matt Bowen will be out there for the remainder of the match. This was the tackle. Brad Fittler, it is a head clash. Brad Fittler's head into the face of Matt Singh. A broken jaw for Matty Singh. Tragic news. Tonga then. Sivan Asiva to halfway. Fitzgibbon and Fittler making the tackle. Four, clear. Price. 107 off 13. Lockyer. Switching it back to Price. Now Crocker to the Blues 40 metre line. Tight in 15. Short side play with Cameron Smith kicking the ball straight up and down. And Minicello comes away again. Outside the 20. Beats him in a Seba. Taken by Tate. He's had a tremendous second half, Minicello. Here's Cooper now. A disappointing set of six here from Queensland with the football. Just a lack of ideas in that one, and in the end, a fairly ordinary kick as Willie Mason discards one would be defender, struggles to the floor here. Mason with a ramrod of a run. Now Gaznia. Two tries on debut. Nobody's ever scored three. Now Barrett. Barrett, left foot, right foot, and then tackled on five. 15 metres out from the line. Fiddler takes the call, puts the kick in. Mark back there by Queensland. That should be Bowen, it is. That's a good effort by Matt Bowen, and he is one player, Matt Bowen, who needs to get more involved. He's out in the wing, but he needs to drift in, have some run, some dummy half, look at some inside balls off the likes of Lockyer. Tonight, of course, a chance to win $5,000 in the VB Man of the Match competition. Blues getting the ball back. All you have to do is correctly pick who you think the Australian selectors will vote for as the VB Man of the Match. And I'll give you that SMS number again in a moment. They're 10 metres out with Kite. Lewis goes to Fitlap. Fitlap goes behind Cooper to Ring. Ring gets on to Rooney. Rooney's in in the corner. Luke Rooney has scored. They're going to the video referee. The Blues a chance to lead 22 to 8. And it did come from a New South, a Queensland mistake, I'm sorry. Shane Webke trying to pass the football. That appears to be okay. 
Brent Tate was a man they targeted in defence there. They got him to come in, and that created an overlap. Imagine that the video ref would like to have a look at a different angle to see the feet of Rooney as to where they're placed in relation to the sideline. Well, he, might be, he might be confident the decision's already there. It's a try. 22 to 8. And on the Bundy Rum Telestrator, a second man play from New South Wales has worked beautifully. They come to the left hand side of the field. And as we freeze it, there you can see that Brent Tate has come in, and all of a sudden you've got two attacking players as play continues up against the one. Matty Bowen makes the tackle, and a nice little move by Luke Rooney to beat Tate, who had recovered quite well. 22 to 8, back in a moment. Fitzgibbon taking the conversion attempt from the sideline. 21 out, uh, he has missed it just off to the left of the uprights. And back at Telstra Stadium, Fitzgibbon failed with the conversion attempt. Scoreline remains 22 to 8. The Blues over the Maroons. Again, Rooney scoring in the same corner that he scored his second grand final try last year. He loves it down there. Knows every blade of grass. Now they come from their own in goal with Riles Crocker. Might have been high. Simpkins indicated chest high. No penalty. Fittler, Two. 22 to 8. Hold. Okay. Fitzgibbon, Three. 8 changes, the Stay Blues, the 9 one. the Maroons, and Parker is on for Queensland in 16. Been involved in the last two tackles, yeah. that time with Cameron Smith. And Jason Riles again, Barrett from inside the 40, this might be a 40-20. Shot is inside the 40, right? I think he might have just stepped outside. Yeah, I think he's outside as well, but I'm pretty sure Reese West has actually put this into touch. But I've got the scrum feed either way, obviously. Yeah, well, okay. well, that chapter continues there. Comedy Inc. returns to nine next Thursday at half past eight. Comedy Inc. is back. Half eight on nine Thursday. And a wonderful kick there from Trent Barrett. Wish Wesse. Well, he would have had no idea whether he was inside or out because there was half a step in it. He had to play at the football. The Blues looking to nail another one into the coffin. They must be thinking that way now. Minicello, Gasney up. Gasney are looking for three. Hindmarsh gives him a push. Hell, hell. Two. We've got it. Now Minicello. Saying to Fittler, where are we going? Fittler says, I'm going here. Now, Badiris, right hey, in the no middle way. of the park. Oh. They put an arrow head behind the dummy half. Then it goes to Barrett. Barrett to Timmons. Four. And they're eight metres out Five. from the line. Wait. 22 to four. Oh. Barrett again. Across he goes. Rifles to Fittler. Fittler to Highmarsh. Highmarsh. On tackle five, Fiddler. It's gone on to Barrett. Barrett looking to get free of the tackle, but that's the turnover. That's great Queensland defence. They really were a chance of scoring on that side after Willie Tonga was forced to take high mark, but they recovered beautifully again, Queensland, to keep themselves in this game. Still a quarter of the match to go. Two. Look at hold. Hold Price. Inside his own 20. That is Parker. Three. Four Lena. of them in the in the tackle. Badiris was the main. Now Flannery runs behind Crocker. No obstruction. 31 metres out from their own line. Lockout. Back and across off the hands of Smith. 
backwards to Crocker. Hammered into the ground by Badiris. Smith, lock here on the 30. Left foot kick, looking for Slater. And it finds touch. Yeah, Darren Lockyer has turned the ball back on the inside a lot tonight. I'd like to see him give it some air. We've seen one slashing run from Willie Tonga. He would like to get a lot more ball. That kick was intended for Billy Slater. Just didn't get there in time. Carlor to come back. Read out on Fitzgibbon. 37 tackles, 12 head ups. Get it in. In. The man out. with the, the V8 mowed up. Menicello. Taken down by Wesser. Now Fitzgibbon running at Lockyer and Wesser. Two. Back and hold. Stephen Price coming over the top to shut the second rower down. Fiddler to Riles. Three. And Riles is pulled down by Ross. Right. Underneath right. with Parker over the oh. top and Price. Now Badiris for Barrett. Barrett, second man play for Timmins. 30 metre line. Four. Fourth tackle. Badiris, open side. Riles, Fitlap. Now it's with Cooper. Cooper, knocked down by Bowen. That'll be another set of six for New South Wales. Matt Bowen forced to go for the intercept. And he's really the man that somehow they've got to get involved in the play, Matt Bowen. They need to score points, Queensland. I think he's got to have a roving commission. On that occasion, he was not too far away from going 70. He's been good, Matt Cooper, hasn't he, Pete, in his debut tonight. He and Gazzini have been sensational. They've just carried on their, their Dragons form into this match. So the Blues with Barrett. Barrett, five away from the line. Great tackle by Stephen Price. Now they go wide. They're in again, the Blues. Minicello. Minicello tapping an absolutely brilliant second half. Barrett almost did it. Minicello completed it. Yes, it was set up by the Trent Barrett run from the scrum base. They never recovered defensively. Danny Badiris realised that that was the way to go. This is Billy Slater, unable to keep the football in. Touch judge looking down at the line, puts the flag up. The end of that set of six. Matt Bowen was forced to give quiz New South Wales another set. And on the Bundy Run telestrate, we freeze it there. You can see it's a great run from Anthony Minicello, the line that he's running. running. They're looking at players coming around on that area. This play continues, but the short ball from Timmins, Willie Tonga was back behind the rest of his defenders. Try time. Oh, it was a very raggedy defensive line there. Tonga didn't move up. Billy Sutter went up too, too quick. Once again, presented a, a yawning gap for the Blues to run to. 26-8, long road back for the Maroons tonight. Fitzgibbon. 10 in. 20 out. From the eastern side, hits it. Flags are up again for Fitzgibbon. The Blues 28 to 8. Andrew Voss sideline. Well, first of all, news from the Queensland room. A further update on Matty Singh. He has gone to hospital with that broken jaw. And how about this stat, Ray? For those who love their statistics when it comes to state of origin football. With that try to Anthony Mercello and the goal to Greg Fitzgibbon, would you believe in 25 years of origin, New South Wales have now scored one more point than Queensland in total. And it's gone out on the full. It's a penalty back at the middle of the halfway. Smith with the kickoff. Win for too much. So it's all going in the one direction at the moment. The ending that Freddie Fitlap was probably dreaming about is about to become a reality. Riles. 10 in from touch, 25 out, Fitlap, Kite, Badiris, 
to the 10 meter line. Crocker hangs on with Parker. Fitzgibbon now. Fiddler. Barrett. Barrett tries to go through. Timmons goes to dummy half. Thinks about it himself. They pick him up and drive him down. Five tackles gone for the Blues now. Fiddler's to the right. Fiddler puts the kick in. Rizzo. Rizzo. Can Reese get back? No, he can't. It'll be a line drop out. Reese starts. Shane Whippy looks on. Forlornly. Doing everything right now, the Blues. Barrett and Fiddler, the maestros out there. Running to the line. If not running, little kicks in behind. And Nathan Highmaster, Finney out there on the wing. Makes his 33rd tackle of the night. Yeah, he's come of age, Nathan Highmarsh, at the elite level. And I think Trent Barrett was given set instructions tonight to don't worry about playing the football, you run it. When you get a chance, take the line on and then let it unfold. Cooper. Oh, one. Fitzgibbon. I gave you that stat. It's now gone even higher. 37 and 14 for Fitzgibbon. He plays the ball now. Gadiris and Barrett. Barrett and Fitler. Fitler out to Rooney. Rooney running it straight at Darren Lockyup. Lockyup making the tackle. Gadiris for Barrett. Back he goes to Timmins. Timmins. He's 12 metres out. Throws a couple of dummies. Now he's come back to Rooney. Rooney goes back to Cooper, and Cooper is tackled Hands by Carlaw and Parker. 18 metres out from the line. The Blues with Riles now. Oh, great offload from Riles. Cooper's over! Cooper's put it over the line, but they want to have a look at it. Yeah, the ball just uh, bobbled up there. He was right in, in line, Paul Simpkins, but just wants to check. Great offload, Jason Riles. He's taken the ball up 14 times tonight for eight offloads, and he's really kept the second phase play going for the Blues all night. Here comes the put down. Ooh, no try. No try. That will be no try. The arm hit the ground first. The ball came loose. There's no doubt that one will be a red light. Takes nothing away from the quality of the Jason Riles now, offload. The other thing is, there's a hand in there by a Queensland play. I think that ball's been stripped by Corey Parker. What's the, is Corey Parker's left hand Another rakes the ball out. Well, of course, the rule is that it can't be a penalty try in that situation. Let's have a look at Parker. No, oh, gee, I, I think it'll be a really tough decision to rule against Parker there. I think in that instance, you should be able to stop a try however you can. Well, to stop the try, he really had to attack the football. Well, boys. Queensland confident they'll be going back to the 20-metre. Oh. It's no try penalty. Yeah, picked it in one, Fatty. So, Fatty has picked the steal, and that's the way Sean Hampstead has ruled. Well, Fatty was guilty of them a fair bit in his own career, so he knows what to look for in that situation. And Danny Vadiris has pointed to the post here. They want to take the points on offer. That is something I don't like about the stripping rule in rugby league, the fact that you can't deny a try in that fashion. Phil Gould there adamant, he just wants to slow the game down. That obviously they're going to win the game with 13 minutes remaining. Another two points to add some insult to injury. And the way this man's kicking. And of course, on the footy show tomorrow night at 9.30 around the country, you'll see the dressing room interviews. One of Australia's great pop stars, Shannon Knoll, live in the studio. Fitzgibbon, 13 out. Puts it between the big sticks. They've reached 30. Kennedy. Kennedy and Mason. 
waiting to come back in. And Craig Fitzgibbon comes off as we see a disconsolate Matt Singh. I've seen any player injured in any game, but Matty Singh, such a simple. They, they tend to be. Yeah, it was funny simple. because once he got hit, he just got up and he just walked straight to the side on. He knew there was something horribly wrong uh, with his cheekbone or jaw, and he just walked straight off. Speaking of walking off, Craig Fitzgibbon's walked off. I think that'll be the first break for Fitzgibbon throughout the whole series. Played the full 83 in game one, the full 80 in game two, and he's got through 67 minutes here. A remarkable effort. Jason Riles. And another offload from the Dragons front rower to Cooper, who makes the 20 metre line. Kennedy met by Flannery. And there's Fitzgibbon with coach Phil Gould. He has no greater admirer than Gould. I don't think Craig's too happy. He wanted to be out there for the finish of this game. He's disappointed that he hasn't been given that opportunity. So post-match tonight, Paul Harrigan and Andrew Voss will join the winners for the victory lap. We'll have all the interviews, we'll bring you all we can from the Olympic Stadium at the end of this game tonight. As Barrett puts it down to Reese Wessup. Matty Bowen with him. Wessup just chancing his luck, but very close to the sideline. Bowen. Now Crocker, now to the 20 metre line, Hindmarsh is there. Crocker is still not well. I've got no doubt one of those shoulders of his is still giving him trouble. There might be a story of, of gallantry or bravery to come out of that. Ross. Dragons and Broncos on Friday night, half past eight on nine. That's why Gordon had his boots in the bag. Played by Flannery, given to Lockout. Lockyer kicks, Slater's after it. A la Origin two. Kennedy's got the ball. Badira's coming off second best in all of that. Gaffney. Now for Fiddler. Hindmarsh. Well, he was having a look at the defence. Yeah, he did, but again, it shows the versatility of Nathan Hindmarsh. Played much of the game on the right-hand side. Now across to the left. Ben Kennedy flying high. Didn't do his Newcastle teammate Danny Badiris any favours in the way he landed. And then Nathan Hindmarsh just having a look at the defender coming forward in Brent Tate. Don't no, get sloppy, Stay fellas. Down, Let's keep it going. Ponga. Minicello making the tackle. There's the attendance. 82,487. Capacity crowd at the newly configured stadium. Ben Ross. Hindmarsh has made a high tackle count, but his hit-ups, his hit-ups only a couple in the game. Lockyer for Flannery. Flannery to Tonga. He's out of a tackle, he's out of another, and then Gaznia. Gaznia gets him this time. He's a good player, isn't he, really, Tonga? And this experience of State of Origin level will do him the world of good. Just in and away and around his man like he wasn't even there. It's a great little step and a good fend and got plenty of speed. Well, from Queensland point of view, there's the future. Players like Willie Tonga and players who have got experience over the last season or two at this level are going to be better down the track. Brent Tate, Billy Slater, Scott Prince has played well. Cameron Smith, Ben Ross has done a good job off the bench. Matty Bowen. There's a good nucleus there for the seasons to come. 30 points to eight. And the Blues with eight and a half minutes to go. They haven't won a series decider in 10 years. 1994 was the last time they did that. Timmons comes off. Up the middle now. Here's Big Willie. Mason charging down the ground. Slater's after him. Mason and Slater. 
Slater and Mason. Mason's there. He's dropped it. Mason has dropped it. Has he dropped it? I think he's dropped it. Well, what a run. If he what hasn't. a run by the big man. If he hasn't, it's one of the greatest origin tries of all time. Like a runaway buffalo. Oh, he loses it. Billy Slater saved a try, but the big fella. What about he went to Billy Slater and went around him? Oh, it's a great run. He's had a great series as well. And look, he sees there's no support, so now he decides, oh, I can outrun this bloke. It's only Billy Slater. You're kidding, Billy. And look at him go, the sky cam shot there. Goes with him. What a good run. What a good run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said there's no support, they couldn't keep up, they were too tired to keep up. Yeah, reminiscent of a run of Stephen Price we saw not so long ago. Nathan Hindmarsh in game two. That was better. He got into the clear and changed gears. Hang on, hold it still, wait for the ball. It's out. So Queensland. Look at this defence. Surging in on them, three of them. Kennedy and Minicello. Sivan Asiva. Taken by Wing and Heinmarsh. So still the Maroons are yet to win outright at Telstra Stadium. This is the eighth time. In fact, the ninth time that Origin has been here. The best they've come up with was a draw. Lockyer, charge down, no knock on. Fiddler's going to score. Fiddler, his farewell, his farewell. Come for the try. Freddie Fiddler scores. Game 31, the end of the career in rep football. Provides a try and for Freddie Fiddler. And his great mate and coach, Bill Gould. Loving every second of that. You can't knock the football on if you charge it down. And tonight, Brad Fittler joins a great Wally Lewis as one of our leading players who is involved in a winning game to win a series on home turf in their final representative game. Plenty of leading players have not done it. Langer didn't, Stewart didn't. Lewis has, Fittler has. 34-8 as we break. Mark Gaznia is the kicker. Attempting conversion of Brad Fittler's try. It brought the stadium to its feet. Gaznia converts. And the score goes out to 36-8. New South Wales over Queensland. Andrew Voss sideline. Well, Ray, Brad Fittler will tell you that he took in his first origin match when he went along with his uncle to the SCG 20 years ago, 1984, on a wet night when his heart was broken as a young Blues supporter when Wally Lewis put in a kick that bounced off the cross, crossbar into the arms of Greg Dowling. Tonight, Brad Fittler in his final origin match. Well, he has broken the hearts of Queensland. They're crying now. So only Langer and Meninga have played more matches than Fittler. He levelled up with Wally Lewis tonight. He's the highest capped New South Wales player ever and the youngest New South Wales player ever. Here's Cooper just outside the 30 metre line. And Fittler becomes only the second leading player to achieve series success in his final game on home soil. The other was Wally Lewis in 1991. 30 metres out from the Blues line. 36 to 8 to score. 28 point margin. Barrett, Mason again. Flannery and Smith making the tackle. Kennedy for Barrett. He gets a kick away. Slater comes out of the deep. 
Then he takes it back. Look at Slater go in and away. Then it's Crocker. The ball goes to ground on the 40 metre line. Yeah, great tackle on Billy Slater by Ben Kennedy coming across so late. Otherwise, he was away in under the sticks. Smith. Slotted there by Heimarsh. I keep looking at Crocker and I think to myself he's, he's in a, a lot of pain. Webke. What a performance. What an effort by Webke. Not in just tonight's match, but in a 20-match origin career. Sivan Asiva is 15 out from the line. Here's Scott Prince looking for the opening. Bowen will score. Bowen scores for Queensland. 36 to 12 now. Yes, Matty Bowen. So good on his feet. Too little, too late for Queensland, but at least they finished with a flourish. Was set up by the Billy Slater bust. Paul pointed out Ben Kennedy came up with the try saver. In fact, if Billy had have come this way, they wouldn't have caught him. And Queensland's never say die attitude is rewarded. Nice dummy from Scott Prince at dummy half. And that allowed Matty Bowen to get on the outside of a, of a quick man in Craig Wing. Not too many quicker on the field than the try scorer. Yeah, they, they never say die. It hasn't been their night. They've been outclassed and outgunned and possession's gone against them. It's nearly 60% of possession to the Blues. But Blues too good. Consolation for Matt Bowen. Cameron Smith from right in front. Scoreboard, 36 points to 14. Here's a break. Eighty-two and a half thousand people here tonight. The home of the Olympics. Eighty-two and a half thousand here, and millions around the country. And you people overseas, of course, watching the farewell performance in rep football of this man, Brad Fitlap, and his coach and great mate, Phil Gould. Back. At State of Origin 3, the decider is winding down. Stay with us after the game. And take you out to centre field. Paul Harrigan, Andrew Voss. They'll join the winners for their victory lap later on. All the interviews. Here's Flannery. 36 to 14. With this win, New South Wales will lead the series. 11-10. Matches, the games played will be back to level at 35 35. Cameron Smith has tackled now with just over a minute to go. Bowen, Bowen, and Minicello goes back, and that's a very good effort by Minicello. He's been a real star in the second half. Barrett, he took control in the first. Minicello has been brilliant in the second. Played by Lewis. The young Panther wingers, they haven't let their, their state down. Gazny is tackled. Two tries for the, the Dragon centre. O'Mealy met by Crocker, ball dislodged. And that is Craig Wing, who's under that tackle with the siren. Just a matter of half a minute away. Badiris, Fitler. Barrett, kick and chase, and looking for regather. Wes has got the ball, Barrett's tackled him. Right on the 30-metre line. Now Crocker. Taken by Mason and Wing. Here it comes. The end of the series. It is in the end. The Blues have won. The Blues have sent off Brad Fittler and Phil Gould in the best possible fashion. 36 to 14. He's won his sixth series. Phil Gould. From eight that he's coached, he's only lost one. There's an embrace I wouldn't like to be in the middle of. Laurie Daly and Phil Gould. And look at the boys. They realise 
what a moment this must be for one of the, the legends of the game. Test matches, origin matches, grand finals. He's won them all, he's captain at the highest level. The youngest player ever. And now tonight, one of only four players to play more than 30 matches of origin. Brad Fittler. 